I've read a rumour today you've slipped through the next bond. Um, I haven't. I've heard nothing. Do you know what I mean? And I think answering something like that means immediately you're out of the running. So there goes my spot. That was 2015. But now, five years later, rumours have once again started flooding the media of Tom Hardy being the next James Bond. And supposedly, this is to be officially announced in November, around the time that No Time to Die releases. I have no clue where these rumors suddenly come from, but regardless, for those of you who have been following my videos religiously, you may be aware that I've been advocating for Tom Hardy to become the next Bond for quite a few years now. I've talked about this with fellow Bond channel Haphazard Stuff, and mentioned it while guest starring in Joe Darlington's Being James Bond podcast, and in several of my random live chats. And although, of course, this is still simply just a rumor that should be taken with a huge grain of salt, I for one have Tom Hardy as my number one choice to take over after Daniel Craig. Sure, Tom Hardy has way too much star power and you could argue he's a tad too old for the part, but I think there are a lot of very valid reasons why he would be the best man for the job. You see, the thing about Tom Hardy is, He's a character actor that absolutely transforms in every role he's in. Kind of like how Johnny Depp always takes on a drastically different look in each of his films. This is the thing with Hardy, he wouldn't just be Tom Hardy wearing a tuxedo, say like Daniel Craig or Pierce Brosnan pretty much bringing their own appearance to the role. Oh no, Tom Hardy would somehow completely change his look and become Ian Fleming's James Bond. 007. Just picture it, Tom Hardy is able to embody that Sean Connery-esque swagger with an edge. The self-assurance and cockiness and above all, simply is a fantastic actor who would not only be capable, this dude would completely own it. Another thing you gotta take into account is Christopher Nolan likes to work with Tom Hardy. And Tom Hardy loves to work with Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan is a well-known Bond fan. You see where I'm going with this? People argue Tom Hardy is too old because supposedly a new Bond actor traditionally needs to be young because he needs to do a lot of films. First of all, who, who says he needs to do a lot of films? And second of all, Roger Moore was 46 when he became James Bond and he did 7 films. Tom Hardy only turned 43 last week. What if Christopher Nolan came aboard with his Bond knowledge and legendary directing skills got complete creative control and has one of his favorite actors, Tom Hardy, star in a Back to Basics period piece trilogy in the same vein as how he revitalized the Batman franchise with the Dark Knight trilogy. Now again, I can hear many Bond fans argue that traditionally all Bond films have always taken place in the present day that they were made in, but let's just think outside of the box here. This is the ultimate way to truly bring Bond back to Fleming. Have a pre thought out trilogy be set in the 50s or 60s. Have the Cold War return. Have people smoking again. Have Bond be a bit of a misogynist to reflect those times without getting feminist complaints about the hashtag MeToo era and all that crap nowadays. To me, this would be an amazing direction to take Bond in next. I mean, Nolan could just name this movie The Blunt Instrument, or probably simply 007. And whether you admit it or not, that shit would sell. I'm sure all of us have these friends facepalming of why we are such Bond fans, not getting what's so special about these films. But admit it, even those friends would absolutely want to see this. It's fresh, it's not done before. We already have Hans Zimmer aboard too, doing the soundtrack for No Time To Die. He usually works with Nolan, so may as well have him return while we're at it. So sure, Tom Hardy is well known and 
Usually more unknown actors are casted to become James Bond, but if you take that expectation out of the equation for just a minute and give this a serious thought, I could totally see this work. I'm not saying there's any truth to these rumors, nor do I think the chances are high, but all I'm saying is, for me, hashtag Tom Hardy for 007, any day of the week. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Do you like my work and would you like to help this channel grow? Well, consider becoming part of the exclusive DBF community and help support my channel. What is the DBF community? Well, it's the community over at my Patreon page made for the biggest fans of my channel. Why did I create this community? Well, you see, every average project you see on here takes me roughly 30 to 40 hours to produce and upon uploading it, all revenue is pretty much taken away immediately by MGM or other film studios, unfairly as it goes against the fair use policies. So that's why I'm always looking for support and set up this community on Patreon for the biggest diehard fans of my work. I am a believer that those who support me should be rewarded with a ton of perks like getting 2 weeks early access to all my latest videos, receiving a personal thank you video from me. I will also send you my custom made Blu-ray covers that you can print out and put in empty Blu-ray boxes and you get exclusive access to the supporters discord server where you can chat with me and fellow Bond fans whenever you like. And everybody that supports me also builds towards new goals for the channel's future. All these perks come for a little $3 a month. All support is appreciated immensely. Thanks a lot guys.